After months of waiting, it's finally here. <laughs> Inside this box, my favorite knife, by the way, is the most powerful Snapdragon XLE chip. And if you've seen my videos on this topic before, this thing is called a dev kit. This is for developers and it should have come out months ago before all the Snapdragon laptops came out to consumers. I've been doing the test on this channel. I'll link some of the videos down below. Wow, nice box. I've been waiting for this thing for four four months and it's here now. And this has been quite a problem with these dev kits. See, the last Windows for ARM machine was uh, by Microsoft. This little box right here, it was called Project Volterra. I've done videos on that one too. They look kind of similar, don't they? Except the logo. And this one came out right on time, allowing developers to use it to develop apps. It was really well packed with 32 gigs of RAM, lots of IO, really nice machine, but it didn't have the XLE chip. It had the previous generation before the new technology, which is way more performant as we've seen in the laptops I've been testing. And that's what this is. Finally getting my hands on one. Oh, it's big, quite a bit bigger than its grandpa. Another big difference in this one is it says not for resale. Can't wait to test it out though. Um, excuse me. Hello? Yeah, this is Qualcomm. Yeah, the dev kit you have there has been canceled, you see? What? Yeah, sorry to have to tell you that, but it's been canceled, you see? No more death kit, you understand? We're done with it. Oh. Yeah. 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 Well. <sighs> There's some unfortunate news. I might have been one of the last few people to get this machine. See, there have been a number of challenges to getting this thing out the door. There was some HDMI thing, and my initial video on why this was late had some guesses, although they're probably wrong. They're just guesses after all. But really, uh, I don't know why these things were delayed, but they were, and now they're officially canceled. That's right, I just got my shipment uh, yesterday, and today is October 17th. And Arrow, the company that was handling shipments of these and sales of these, just sent out this email. Dear valued customer, at Qualcomm, we are dedicated to pioneering, leading technology, and delivering premium experiences to our valued customers. The launch of over 30 Snapdragon X series power PCs is a testament to our ability to deliver leading technology and the PC's industry desire to move to the next generation technology. Yes, everybody was super excited about this, and they actually delivered a chip to mixed reviews, but they actually did it. If you take a look at the performance and the battery life of all the machines, pretty much all the machines that they've come out with through other OEMs, they are what most people would actually consider a success. Sure, they have to run Windows on ARM, which does not have all the software supported, although more and more are becoming supported uh, as we go. That's been a challenge, but the hardware, the chips, they're actually great for a first generation chip. However, the developer kit product comprehensively has not met our usual standards of excellence. And so we're reaching out to let you know that unfortunately we've made a decision to pause this product and the support for it indefinitely, which essentially means they're canceling it. If you Google for Qualcomm dev kit, Snapdragon developer kit, you click on that and it says we could not find the page you requested. It's already been taken down. But the silver lining is that Qualcomm has authorized a refund for any charge that have been made by Arrow. They don't even want this thing back. I get to keep this thing now. I bought it, which is nice considering that while users will continue to get Microsoft updates, Qualcomm will not be supporting changes or fixes for this particular product going forward. This is what a Qualcomm spokesperson told me after I asked the question. Now, they're not quite done yet with the people that have made the purchase. So uh, stay tuned for some more news about that if you are interested in following that story. But as far as anybody that wants one of these, you won't be able to buy one now unless you go to Russia. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> So I really was looking forward to using this thing and getting the developer community feedback and seeing how developers can use this particular item for their needs. However, as many of you have pointed out in my comments before, the actual machines that have been out for months now the laptops, those can be used as developer tools as well. The point of having a dev kit is that it comes out first before all the laptops. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing, but it's a very functional thing and it has a lot of capabilities. And that's what this was supposed to be. So since it did not meet that, developers were forced to buy regular laptops that common people have to use. 
okay? So, so there's plenty of those out and about now that you can get and use those for development. I feel kind of bad for the engineers that had to work on this thing and be proud of the work they did only to have it shut down so soon. But hopefully all these kinks will be ironed out for the next version. Anyway, if you want to see my battery tests of all the different Snapdragon machines, check that out right over here. They do last a long time and I'll see you next time. Oh, um, anybody interested in me doing tests on this thing? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a good one. See ya.